Ahoy! You're listening to the Slow Czech Podcast. Learn Czech fast, slowly, with lessons, stories, and interviews. With today's host, Eliška. Does it happen to you that when speaking to Czechs, they switch immediately to English and you don't know what to do about it? Or being better and better, you start feeling lost in the Czech grammar because of its complexity with cases and verbs? Would you like to start saying things correctly just because it sounds right, but you don't know how to get to this point? I am Eliška, I speak five languages, I live in Brno, and I am proud mom of two wonderful bilingual boys, <laughs> and I am founder and leader of Slow Czech. That started as small, slowly spoken audios on Tumblr in 2016, and in 2020 grew to to 20 tutors who are helping foreigners from all over the world to speak Czech to their loved ones or locals in the Czech Republic through free content on YouTube and your podcast app. Now, if you recognize yourself in one or more of these situations, the reason why it happens is that you do not receive enough comprehensible input. What does it mean? Okay, let me explain. <laughs> When we learn a language, today we actually learn it backwards. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> um, and pozor! important information coming already. We are not learning new language by studying vocabulary lists and reading grammar books. It is not natural for us, for our brain, who doesn't like the separated words or grammar information, which is out of context. The problem is that we picked up this traditional school approach, but The task of the school is to teach us the literacy, to teach us about the language we already know as natives. Unfortunately, decades ago, we started to teach foreign languages the same way, because we thought, well, we are adults, so we need to analyze, we need to understand, we make conclusions. <laughs> I am explaining this in detail in the video, Uh, that you can find on YouTube, Storytelling 100% in Czech, Learn Czech with Eliška for beginners. And yes, our analytical minds make it harder to us to accept the natural and more efficient and faster way to learn languages. But today I'm about to convince you that this is the right way. <laughs> so... <laughs> Before speaking, we have to get enough comprehensible input. Very important information. Now, getting enough comprehensible input, what it is. It is a language learning method where you listen or read material that you can mostly understand. It's just slightly above your current level, but it is not too difficult. What does it do? This way, you naturally pick up new words and grammar without feeling overwhelmed. Research shows that, or research shows that we learn languages best when we understand the message, which is what says Stephen Cresham, a world well-known linguist and educational researcher. For past 50 years, he published amazing influential theories on language learning acquisition and education. So, he... Um, He published the input hypothesis, and in this book you can find that uh, language learners who receive more comprehensible input through reading and listening, they acquire language skills more effectively than those who don't. And three years before he published a work, Principles and Practice in Second Language Acquisition, That outlines particularly the input hypothesis, 
which suggests that learners can progress in their language abilities when they are exposed to language input that is slightly beyond their current level of competence. So called I plus one or input plus one. Well, sounds maybe complicated. So to sum up, when you are exposed to slightly challenging but understandable content, your brain starts making connections and learning new language structures naturally. <laughs> This is so great. <laughs> But before going deeper, I want to underline one general misconception, which is that you should have a basic knowledge of the Czech grammar before you can start speaking. My advice on this is please do not waste your time on grammar at the beginning. According to a study uh, by Benico Mason in 2018, a pure comprehensible approach, more effective and efficient than eclectic second language teaching. Wait, this is the, no, the, the name. But the point is that the students who did just one comprehensible input class per week and then reading at home and no grammar at all, they did significantly better in the test than students who, who in addition to that comprehensible input class and reading, They had six other classes per week studying a textbook. This is crazy, crazy. And they did worse. Those who had six more hours per week of textbook, they did worse. So why waste your time, right? <laughs> Especially at the start of your Czech studies. Learning Czech grammar can or probably will make you confused overwhelmed and discouraged. So, what to do instead? <laughs> If you cannot have a comprehensible input classes with your tutor, so I have examples of comprehensible input for you. At first for listening and then for reading. So, for listening, if you're not a beginner, you can watch TV show in Czech, which is very and largely, largely or widely recommended. This allows you to hear the natural Czech speech and you can watch it with subtitles. You can see the text. I, I recommend it. It will help you to understand and to pick up the vocabulary, the new vocabulary in context. The key points here are that it's the natural speech. So something that you want to reproduce. Uh, you don't want to speak like a textbook. You want to speak with the filler words, the informal language, the slang, the pauses. So the natural speech. And the second key point here is the context. Your brain needs context. He needs to connect information, the new information, to the old, to the known information already. And he needs context for that. So... um But if you are on beginner or if you are, are um, on a low level or if you are a low level student, so then podcast or audio resources that are designed for learners, uh, that are slow, that have clear speech, they are very effective. They provide comprehensible input that you can follow and understand. And this is also how slow check works. At slow check, comprehensible means that it is slow. Um, maybe you know um, finished by Lotta, if you are or have been learning or were learning Finnish. Uh, for her, comprehensible means putting subtitles in English. Anything is fine, but you need to understand it. But in slow Czech, we do not believe in switching into another language because we are able to teach you Czech from zero with Czech only. You immerse yourself in Czech, uh, in a slow language. We show you, we have stories and just using slow Czech methods will assure that you are listening to or watching, uh, what is the right fit for you. 
At any level, you can enjoy tailored content in Slow Check Lab. You go deeper, you practice actively. It's available for Slow Check Lab members only. Or you can choose out of uh, more than 160 videos on YouTube or 300 podcast episodes in your slow, um, in your podcast app. If you're so, uh, if you are searching for a good resources, so head to just go to slowcheck.com slash reasons, R E A S O N S, reasons. You download the three reasons guide where according to your level, you have few examples what to listen or watch, uh, and everything is free. So now this was listening or watching. If you want to read, um, a study by Mason and Crescian from 2004 showed that Japanese students who engaged in extensive reading of English books, so this is a form of comprehensible input, they significantly improved their reading comprehension and overall the language proficiency, so the language overall, the way they speak or also compared to those who only received traditional instructions. This supports Crescent's claim that natural language acquisition through comprehensible input is more effective than the, the traditional teaching methods. So what you will do, you will choose a book or a content that you can mostly understand. This will keep you engaged uh, and you will learn Czech without feeling overwhelmed. You will find also examples in uh, the Three Reasons Guide. <laughs> now, <laughs> the question and answers you are probably waiting for now, if you want to speak Czech. How does getting enough comprehensible input influences your speaking? How will it change your Czech skills if you start reading, watching, listening more, if you start getting more input. Let me tell you, I have one, two, three, four benefits for you. First one, when you immerse yourself in a reading or listening, it is naturally building your vocabulary and grammar knowledge. As I said at the beginning of this first reason of this uh, mini audio course, we are not learning new language by studying vocabulary lists and reading grammar books. It is not natural for us. What is natural is to acquire the language through normal communication, through what is interesting, what is relevant for us. We acquire also the grammar in a specific order for us. Because this order is not the same as the order in which grammar is taught in traditional language classes or grammar books. Example. You definitely know dam si pivo, prosim. Dam si pivo, prosim. It was probably one of the first sentences you learned. <laughs> Despite the fact that grammatically this is an advanced topic with perfective verb form, the second position rule. But in your life, you needed this structure at the very beginning or just earlier. So you heard it and you start using it. <laughs> so when you immerse yourself in reading or listening, it's naturally building your vocabulary and grammar knowledge. Second reason, getting enough comprehensible in, uh, input improves your listening skills. And listening to the language being spoken helps you understand the natural rhythm, the pronunciation, the intonation. This makes it easy to understand others and for you to respond appropriately. Because when you understand what others are saying, then you can react, you can participate in conversation with more confidence and you're less likely to feel lost or or overwhelmed, which then encourages you to speak more. And, you know, once you start it, nothing can stop you. <laughs> so getting enough uh, comprehensible input improves your listening skills. Third benefit, it improves your pronunciation. As I said, uh, if you are listening or watching enough check, it, you are just getting the rhythm, the, the intonation uh, under your skin. 
um, example, it often happens to our American students to say, bydlím ve Praze, or dobrý den, and it should be bydlím v Praze, and dobrý den. You, you immediately from the very beginning, you start to sound like uh, a non Czech, and uh, then Czechs will be like, oh, um, he speaks English, oh, he's native English, I want to practice my English, so I will not speak Czech to him or her, right? So getting enough comprehensible input improves your pronunciation automatically. Um, and last benefit related to speaking again, getting enough comprehensible input reduces anxiety. The more familiar you are with the language through input, the less anxious you will feel about making mistakes when you speak. You have a better sense of what sounds right, which is related to the language learning uh, method called chunking. And I'm about to talk about it in uh, my um, in the second part of this mini course. <laughs> So, last benefit, getting enough input reduces anxiety. And I will add fifth reason or fifth benefit that I'm just now thinking about, which is very important. And it is that if you are getting enough comprehensible input, you have already the structure of the language, uh, the phrases, the words putting together, you have it already somewhere in your mind because you can't produce something what you have not heard or read or received before. You need to know it before in order to reproduce it. You can't just start constructing your sentences if you have never heard it before. And if you have already heard dam si pivo, it is way faster than, uh, okay, I will learn how to say I will have a beer. So I need to have, which means that. Then I need to say, because it means to myself. Then I need a word beer, which is a neuter. It's to pivo. I need to put it in an accusative case, which is, which doesn't change for neuter words. And you see the long process when you are trying to build your phrase out of grammar, out of the structure of the language, instead of just firstly getting the input uh, and the, the phrase uh, first. Okay, so before we finish, <laughs> let me sum up what we have learned today. The key ideas are that we are not learning new language by studying vocabulary lists and reading grammar books. Before speaking, we have to get enough comprehensible input and now you know what it means. Also, we learned that the research shows that we learn language best when we understand the message. So when we are exposed to slightly challenging but understandable content, this means that our brain starts making connection and learning new language structures naturally. And I shared with you five benefits of getting enough comprehensible input. How does this improve your uh, skills, your Czech skills? Now, knowing all this, I hope I have offered you another perspective on your Czech learning and soon your speaking will see a huge improvement. I know that. <laughs> and I would like you now to close your eyes and imagine that when speaking to Czechs, you stop struggling to understand and react because your pronunciation has improved effortlessly. Imagine that no longer you are being lost in a complex Czech grammar. You feel confident about it and you use Czech cases naturally without overthinking. Imagine that after all your studying, you can finally speak Czech as you wish. If this sounds tempting, I invite you to, do, to join me for the, for the second part of our uh, three-part audio mini-course.
<laughs> now, download the material, um, the three reasons guide before you forget where to find it and get ready for another day of engaging effective Czech learning with slow Czech. Let's fall in love with a um, more natural way of acquiring the language and watch your skills improve day by day. Write to me at contact at slowcheck.com nebo kontakt zavináč slowcheck.com or comment on um, slowcheck.com slash reasons about your key takeaway from today's lesson and tell me what you will implement today. <laughs> Learn Czech fast, slowly, with slow Czech. Měj se hezky, buď se česky a čau! Thanks for listening to our podcast with Lishka today. Go to slowcheck.com to get more of our great content and check us out on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Ciao!